Hello and welcome back to another episode of Only a Bag Gear Reviews. In this episode, we are going to talk about the REI Ruck Pack. This is the 28 liter, and I believe it's the last um, size before it goes from day pack into um, their full-fledged backpack range. Uh, so it sort of mixes some of their the, t the touches from a smaller day pack with some of the touches and, and additions from the larger backpack. And for me, this is the perfect one bag. If you have not heard of REI, they are a US-based company uh, out of Washington State, um, and I believe they are a co-op. Uh, for many years, they were a co-op, and I think they still are. I've heard they're run like a corporate company, um, but I don't know if they're, they are like a corporation. However, what they do is they make cheaper or at least more affordable versions of bigger named products. So you have like North Face and Patagonia and even Columbia, Arcteryx, and REI will, is essentially they, they make, produce, and sell cheaper, more affordable versions. Um, they don't look anything alike. It's not like they're ripping them off. It's just for people who basically want to go backpacking but can't afford a $300 backpack, you still need to bring something. And so REI comes in. They also sell, of course, other companies' products on their website, um, but I'm a huge fan of their original products. The bag is very important, obviously, to the whole one bag travel philosophy. Um, the idea is everything should fit into the bag. Uh, some of it can go on, on the front. I like to hang um, shoes sometimes in the front or a jacket. Um, but the idea is the bag is very, very important to that sort of mode of travel. And there are companies like Tom Bin and um, AER or AIR, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, and they make one bag specific backpacks. And these backpacks have like um, laptop pockets, they have iPad pockets, they have all this sort of organization for digital nomads. Um, a lot of them have like separation between the shoe container or compartment and, uh, for instance, the rest of the bag. Um, it's all not necessarily bells and whistles because they are very good bags. I've heard amazing things about them. Um, some of them have theft protection such as like anti-slash um, fabric or like a, a metal mesh that prevents a knife from getting through. Um, so I've heard amazing things about these bags but they run between $200 and $400. And for me, <laughs> two years ago at the time, that was a huge investment. All I wanted was one backpack that could just do everything for ideally less than 100. And I actually originally used Nikea backpack uh, and it was not amazing. Um, it could have been amazing and it just really missed the mark on a couple of things. But funny enough, my mom actually had a REI bag. She had the smaller version, I think the 18 liter, 16 liter, um, and she really liked it. Uh, and I'd used it a few times for day trips or for an overnight trip, and I also found myself really enjoying the bag. Uh, so I thought, I'll get the slightly larger version uh, and, you know, see how I like it. And that was two years ago, so I've used it pretty frequently. It's um, the only bag I own, pretty much. Uh, somebody gave me a suitcase recently. Um, because they were giving it away. But besides that, that this is the only bag I've been using for the last few years. Uh, so it's gotten a fair amount of wear and tear, but as you can see, there's nothing really wrong with it right off the bat. To start on the outside of the bag, most of it is made of a nylon ripstop um, fabric on the top and on the front. Um, the bottom and the sides just have normal sort of nylon, basically, not ripstop, but it's not bad. On the back, we do have uh, mesh over, whoops, let me unclip that. There we go. We have mesh over foam, um, which kind of supports the back, as well as these sort of harder lower back um, foam panels here and an air channel that helps cooling. I don't find it that helpful. I typically have the back, a bag around my waist instead uh, and then relax these, these straps so the bag leans away a little bit. Then of course, backpack straps, they're contoured to the body rather than being straight, which I do quite like. There is a cross chest strap uh, with a little bit of elastic, so that way when it's all the way tightened, you can still stretch a little bit 
without feeling like you're being constricted by the bag. It comes with a little whistle as well if you're lost in the woods. And then there are these uh, waist straps here at the bottom and they tuck away very nicely behind this lower back panel, um, sort of for easy storage, but I guess if you're just not using them, they tuck in, whoops, let me get that out of your way, uh, right here. So it makes it a lot easier, I find, um, to use this if you're not gonna use the waist straps, but I am somebody who uses waist straps quite often uh, to keep the weight, obviously, off my shoulders and my back, so I have no problem with it. And at the bottom is the storage for the uh, rain cover. And here is the rain cover. There is a small Velcro strap at the bottom that does attach inside the bag, and then there's a Velcro strap and bungee uh, that will attach near the shoulder straps. Uh, and this provides just rain cover when it's raining, obviously. I typically don't travel with it in the bag all the time because it is, while it is a small piece of nylon, it does take up a lot of space. Um, if it were only this big, I'd use it, but when it's shoved at the bottom of the bag, it takes up quite a bit of space, and I can basically, without this, I can get another shoe in there, um, or like another t-shirt, half a pair of shorts. Um, so I don't often travel with this, or I stick it at the top. Now the very top of the bag, get that out of frame, is a sort of quick access pocket, is what I like to call it. It's just very simple, open, there's no separation, there's no um, compartmentalization except for the fact it's separated from the rest of the bag by a thin piece of nylon. Super helpful for um, snacks, for sunglasses. Um, it is also, it's hard to tell in the video, it's also hard to tell until I bought it, but it's thicker here at the front than it is the back. So if you have something that is an uneven shape, you might be able to fit it into the back of it, or I guess the part that's uh, farther away from your, your back than the front of it, which is a little bit more shallow. You can kind of see there. It's not a very thick um, sort of uh, depth there. Uh, this is only important if you have a really thick book or something and you want to stick it up here. But mainly I keep it to snacks, I keep it to headphones, I keep it to sunglasses, anything I need to get quickly, like on a train, that's where I like to keep it. But the rest of the bag is taken up by one main compartment. As you can see here, it's super simple. Um, there is no separation at all. There is, however, a mesh pocket in the front um, uh, for slight separation. I don't think I've ever really used it. And then on the other side, there is a camelback um, spot. It's something just to slip a camelback sort of hydration pouch into. I use it, however, for a laptop sleeve. Um, it's got the depth, it fits a 13 and a 15 inch laptop, um, both width and height wise. I have not tried a uh, 17 inch laptop, but 13 and 15 do seem to fit just fine. And then it does sort of hook into place. So I don't know if that helps like secure it necessarily, but it makes me feel better when I have the laptop in there. On the side, um, you have a, a side access pouch, which sort of just, if you've, depending how you've packed, you can access something on the side much easier than going through the whole bag. And on the other side, you have a little separation, sort of like office organizer. I'm not really sure what we, what we call that, um, but somewhere for the pens and keys and change, as well as a secret, they call it a secret pocket, but it's um, got a little orange toggle, so it's not that hard to find. Um, I sort of doubt the secretiveness of it, but it is an extra pocket, which I like a lot. And on top of the pouches and the side access panel, there are water bottle holders. I like these a lot, I'll be honest. I did not, um, I didn't really consider a water bottle holder when I bought this backpack. It didn't really feel that important um, because I'm, I didn't really bring a water bottle around. Um, and then, of course, I started bringing a water bottle around, and I realized I like these because they expand outwards. I've had backpacks that have water bottle holders that expand inwards, um, which takes up a lot of space on the inside. Like, there'll be a firm piece of non-stretchable fabric, and you have to shove the, bag, the, the water bottle in to, like, not ruin the lines of the bag. I like this one. It comes out. Um, and then, of course, you can tighten it, so if you have a bottle... Uh, with ridges or something like that, you can, can secure it really well. Same thing on this side. 
And then, there, of course, there is the classic compression straps uh, on the sides that if you need to kind of tighten the bag down. I almost never use them because I have a laptop and I'm just super nervous about putting that much pressure uh, if the laptop is against my bag, but it's a great option for when I don't use a laptop. Lastly, on the front, um, there are a couple little attachment features is what I like to call them because I'm not sure what they're actually called, but there's a bit of, um, it's like a bungee cord, I guess, on both sides. Um, that's what I think it is. And I sometimes, you know, I've never, I don't know what they are for, to be honest. I, I use them to like attach jackets or something like that, or shoes. Um, I, I, I can imagine they're for maybe like ski poles, perhaps. Um, and then tucked inside, you can kind of tell this is a front panel, but tucked inside the seam is this, um, they call it a daisy chain. And it's just these little fabric loops that run up and down um, both sides of the bag. Um, sort of both tucked in there. Again, I think it's so you can strap things back and forth. I've never used them. I would like to because I would feel really cool using them and figuring out how they work, but I've never figured out how they work. And at the bottom, there are these little uh, toggles that again, I've used for like something that can loop through sort of like a sleeping roll. Um, I think uh, when we bought an easel once in Florence to bring back, we stuck the, the easel through here and these do tuck away as well just under that same panel um, that the daisy chain is in. So if you do prefer having a sort of non, a bag that doesn't have all these things hanging off of it, it can slim down uh, quite a bit. However, I can't really seem to get this, uh, there we go, tucked away. So you can tell the difference between it sort of tucked away and then it hanging out. Um, I do, if you have traveled with backpacks before, the rain cover, got it is a great option to put over the whole bag and then of course like check it through security or even bringing it if you're a uh, carry-on bag. This is another great option because essentially it puts all your, the, the little toggles and all the straps inside the rain cover uh, and then it just cinches under the straps and there's no real issue. I don't know how effective it is every time it rains. I always forget the rain cover, mainly because I don't leave it in the handy little rain cover pouch at the bottom. Uh, I can also get, like typically I can get maybe a jacket underneath this as well. So it keeps everything in a really nice tidy little um, sort of satchel, a pouch if you will. Uh, and, it, and it makes me feel a little bit more secure about the bag. And I think as a last sort of note, I did buy the bag for about $100. I don't think this one is available right now. I think they have like a recycled version of this. Um, so I think it's the same bag, but with recycled polyester instead of non-recycled, or maybe this one's also recycled, I can't remember. Um, but it's been a fantastic purchase. I've used it, like I said, for two years, the last two years, summer, winter, nonstop. Um, and I've had no actual complaints with the bag. In fact, one of my favorite parts might be the zippers because I have, I'm, I'm a terrible like zipper parent um, or a, a, a zipper custodian, um, mainly because I always mistreat them and I always hold the bag like that by a zipper, especially when the bag is full and I feel like that's a big no-no. Um, like I'm, I'm imagining that to be a terrible idea. Um, but I do it anyway because it's like you're at line, in the line at TSA and you have your passport in your mouth and you have your ticket under your arm and you're trying to get something out and you're just holding it by the, and you're just doing this thing. And it's never, the zippers are fantastic. They've never come off, they've never split, they never, I've never punctured the zipper line and having to like unzip and then rezip to get it back together. They're phenomenal zippers. So I'm, I, it's just such a silly thing, but it, because of it's like, the whole creation sort of revolves around having um, a zipper, like otherwise it'd just be an open pouch on your back and that's useless to everybody. Um, I'm really, really pleasantly surprised to, to find that they not only used high quality, good, like YKK zippers, um, but that after two years, they aren't starting to wear away. There are no parts that are difficult to zip. Um, nothing is bent within the zipper. That happens sometimes where, again, when I hold it by the zipper, like you're not supposed to do, it bends the zipper and I can't use it anymore. So all in all, 10 out of 10 bag. If you're looking for a one bag, it doesn't have a laptop sleeve like I mentioned. So if you're a digital nomad and this, that matters to you um, because your life revolves around 
making money with your laptop. That's totally understandable. Um, but like for me, again, I can use that Camelback pouch and it's fine. Um, but the rest of it, it's, you know, 28 liters for me is fairly large. Um, I've had larger backpacks. I've had smaller backpacks. Um, and this seems to be that 28 to 30 liter range seems to be a really comfortable place. It's enough to get about a week's worth of clothes plus some snacks. Plus, um, I travel around with, like I said, the laptop chargers, a camera, um, not camera equipment necessarily. So like lavalier mics, but nothing else. Um, so all in all it's, it holds quite a bit. Um, and it isn't, the only thing I will say, it is not small enough to be um, the personal bag on an airline. It is only, you have to use it, unfortunately, as a carry-on. So you can't have this and a bigger bag, um, but you can obviously have this and a smaller bag, which I do all the time. Thank you so much for watching this video on the REI Ruck Pack. Um, I hope you guys tune in for the next one, and I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much.